If you guys are moving in today or next week, welcome to the DCP. It's currently torrential downpouring. I feel like I don't want to go on Splash, which is so weird for me to say because it's literally my favorite ride. This hand sanitizer literally smells like the art of animation lobby. Guys, I'm walking through Frontierland and look who's out. Oh my god. It's Caitlin and today I am going to Magic Kingdom, but you guys are going to help me choose what I'm going to do throughout the day. But yeah, I am so excited to get this day started because I cannot wait to go to Magic Kingdom. So I already put the first poll up and the first poll was what should I wear? So here are the two outfit options. I have a comfy outfit, which are just some Lululemon shorts and last year's Halloween t-shirt. And I have a cute outfit, which is these shorts and a tank top. So I already posted the poll for this on Instagram and I'm going to go see what you guys chose for me to wear today <gasps> I was not expecting this at all, but it's 34% cute and 66% comfy So it looks like I'm gonna be wearing this comfy Halloween outfit. Also, before I start getting ready for today, I'm going to put up another poll and it's going to be what ears should I wear? So should I wear these castle ears, which I got recently? They also light up Wow. Or should I wear the Halloween ears from this year? This will definitely match the outfit that I'm wearing better, but I also really want to wear these because I just got them and I haven't been able to wear them to the parks yet. Okay, so I just finished getting ready to go to the park and now I'm going to find out which ears you guys chose for me to wear. Oh my god! Honestly, I'm not surprised. 72% of you guys said spooky and then 28% of you said the 50th years. Honestly, matches the outfit. I have the 2020 Halloween shirt on and now I'm going to have the 2021 Halloween ears on. All right guys, here's the final look of the day. So you guys chose the comfy clothes and the spooky ears. Since I'm going all out spooky, I just put on some spooky socks as well. I'm in the car, so I'm about to make my way over to Magic Kingdom. The next poll that I just posted on my story is when I get there, should I take the monorail or the ferry over to the park? Also, um, I don't know if it's a move-in day, but there are a lot of people with their parents and wagons at Flamingo Crossings. I feel like Spring Advantage is starting to move in already, and if you guys are moving in today or next week, welcome to the DCP! You're gonna love it here. I definitely did not bring a raincoat or an umbrella. guys I made it to the TTC and now we have to figure out how I'm going to get over to the Magic Kingdom let's see what you guys chose 30% fairy, 70% monorail. Oh my gosh. Since I've been down here I've never actually taken the monorail to get over to Magic Kingdom. I always end up choosing the fairy. Not sure why but here we go we're switching it up and I'm very excited to be able to take the Magic Kingdom monorail. Let's go. currently torrential downpouring but that's not gonna stop me I definitely don't have an umbrella or a poncho but I'm gonna figure it out and we're gonna keep going with this day so I just posted another poll on my story and it's should I get a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks or Joffrey's so I'm going to let you guys choose and maybe wait out the rain for a little bit because it's definitely raining really hard I'm standing outside of Starbucks right now. We're gonna see if I'm gonna hop in here or if I'm gonna head over to Tomorrowland to grab a pumpkin spice latte from Joffrey's. It's 57% Starbucks, 43% Joffrey's. Ooh, I am honestly so excited. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I came into the Emporium. I feel like all of Magic Kingdom is in here right now, but 
I did see that they have both of the new ears in here. So I'm going to put up a poll and this one is going to be which pair should I buy? Should I get the green ones or the blue ones? I honestly cannot decide. I'm so happy that I was able to find both of these here because I thought the blue ones were only available in Epcot, but here they are. I just left the Emporium. I'm outside the casting agency door, very iconic. I bought a pair of ears. The pair that won, won by a landslide. So it was between the new blue ears and the new green ears. And it was the blue ears. They won 82% to 18%. Look at how cute they are. I'm very excited to have a new pair of ears. Woo, thanks for choosing them. I finally made it down Main Street and I'm by the castle. The next poll that's going up is, should I go over to Tomorrowland and ride Space Mountain or should I head over to Frontierland and ride Splash Mountain? I feel like I don't wanna go on Splash, which is so weird for me to say because it's literally my favorite ride. So. We'll see if you guys choose space, but I'll be happy either way. So my ride poll has been up for about 30 minutes now. Oh my gosh, this one's a really close one. 44% said Splash Mountain, 56% said space. So let's head over to Tomorrowland. The next poll that I put up while I was in line is what snack should I get? Should I get the 50th specialty churros or the specialty 50th Dole Whip? It's 57% Dole Whip, 43% churro. So it was really close, but I'm gonna go head over to Adventureland and grab that new Dole Whip. everywhere and I just had to sip at it and keep sipping at it so it didn't overflow before I found somewhere to sit down but it was really good if you can't tell I drank a lot of it um, it did look a lot better when I first got it and there was a cake pop before the cake pop fell off but um, so now I'm in Casey's corner and I grabbed another snack I got myself a Mickey pretzel but before I eat this one, especially since this one I'm gonna eat with my hands, I need to sanitize. And what I use to sanitize my hands is Touchland. As you can see, there's a Mickey on the inside. This is a part of their Disney collaboration, which I'm so excited to talk about today. The Touchland and Disney collection is inspired by the iconic pop art style. This collection features four of Touchland's most popular moisturizing hand sanitizer scents. Aloe U, Pure Lavender, Citrus Grove, and Unscented. Each bottle of Touchland hand sanitizer has 500 sprays, is cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, gluten-free, and is dermatologist tested. I was actually introduced to Touchland on a trip to Disney with my friend Julia. She pulled out a bottle of their hand sanitizer for us to use after a ride, and I instantly fell in love with the scent and the cute packaging. Since then, I've been obsessed with using Touchland hand sanitizers to keep my hands moisturized and germ-free. This hand sanitizer literally smells like the Art of Animation lobby. Tell me I'm wrong. This one's their citrus one. So I am back at this end of Main Street because I want to catch the 50th Cavalcade. Last time I tried to vlog the 50th Cavalcade, I completely missed it because I was standing in the wrong spot. So I'm waiting at like the most perfect spot you can wait at for it to come down. While I'm waiting for this Cavalcade to come through, I put up another poll. So this poll is what is the next ride I should go on, Big Thunder or Mine Train. The cavalcade came past, but it wasn't the 50th 
sadly it was the rainy day cavalcade which I still haven't seen before so it was really cool seeing it but I was really looking forward to seeing the 50th cavalcade I guess I'll have to wait till next time but now it's time to check the poll and see which ride you guys chose for me to ride next. Thunder won 67% and Mine Train got 33%. I'm really excited to go on Thunder, mostly because I won't have to wait in a line that's probably over an hour long, but let's make our way over to Big Thunder. I'll be going over to Adventureland. Guys, I'm walking through Frontierland and look who's out. Oh my god. They're so cute. because when I got in line it was raining and now it's not so it was a good way to hide from the rain. I'm going to do one last poll because I do want to leave the park before the fireworks crowds get way too crazy so let's head to Main Street and I'll let you guys know what that poll is. Alright guys so I made it back in front of the castle and it is definitely a lot more crowded in preparation for the fireworks like Oh my gosh, look at all them chickens. My last poll of the day is going to be what should I grab from the confectionery on the way out? So the first choice is going to be a Rice Krispie Treat, which is actually one of my favorite Disney desserts. And the second choice, I haven't really decided yet. I think the second choice is going to be make your own popcorn because there is now a make your own popcorn station over at the confectionery. So that's going to be the second option. Guys, I'm walking out of Magic Kingdom and look who I ran into. It's Sab! Hey. She's in her costume and everything, ready to battle those fireworks crowds. Tonight's gonna be crazy. Wish me luck. <laughs> Bye, Sab. Have fun at work. You look cute. Thank you. I'm currently walking out and down Main Street and oh my gosh, it is so busy today. I feel like it's more busy than it normally is. I don't know if today's a holiday or something, but like everybody and their mother is here tonight at Magic Kingdom. Honestly, this is not a horrible time to walk out of Magic Kingdom because you can still see Main Street is lit up for the night and the fireworks crowds are still walking in and not crowding the streets. Look at the 50th banner. Happy 50th Magic Kingdom! There are so many people on Main Street. There's like a line that is a mile long to buy balloons. Balloons! Okay, I am currently outside of the confectionery and now I'm going to check which treat you guys wanted me to leave Magic Kingdom with. The two options once again were popcorn and a Rice Krispie treat, so let's see what you guys chose. This poll is definitely the closest out of all of them so far. Rice Krispie Treat won, but it has 51% and popcorn has 49%. So I do have to get the Rice Krispie Treat. However, I will come back one day to try the make your own popcorn because first of all, I love popcorn. Second of all, I love making my own things. So I'm gonna have to try it one day. I definitely missed the castle lighting up for the beacon of magic, but that's okay. Look at it down there. Wow, so cute. 
Look at that beacon. I feel like my favorite beacon of magic is definitely Epcot, but the castle is the castle, so it can't be beat. to show you guys the Rice Krispie Treat that I got because it's the special 50th Rice Krispie Treat. It's a white chocolate and M&M's. I don't think they're iridescent M&M's, but I think they're supposed to resemble the iridescent colors like gold, purple, pink, and blue. It's cute and I'm excited to eat it. Honestly, I had so so much fun today. Like that was genuinely a blast because it was exhilarating trying to figure out what you guys are going to choose for me to do because I had no way in predicting it. I had no idea what I was going to do today and it ended up being such a wonderful day and I'm ending it with a Rice Krispie Treat, one of my favorite snacks at Disney World. I kind of want to do more of these videos in the future. Maybe I can do one in every park or just like Disney day in general where you get to choose what park I'm going to. Who knows? I feel like I love doing these because I love seeing what you guys have to say and doing what you guys choose for me to do because sometimes I don't even know what to do myself. So I think that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.